the mind. It was very entertaining. It kept me feeling alive. It kept every moment so exciting, even though half of it was pain and suffering and waiting and wondering, does he love me? Does he love me? If he does love me, then I'm okay. If he doesn't love me, then I'll go down into despair. But even despair was something. I felt something. That pain and suffering was something. Now I just feel okay. And it's kind of boring. So I woke up today feeling eh. <laughs>
Okay, Yvonne. Okay, Yvonne. Okay. Yes. Hi. What's your um, question? I like this question. It's about this too shall pass and um, the quote about it. Um, forget the quote now. Shoot. Um, how do you be a voice for uh, change in the planet where things are going wrong and still be present in the stillness? and create the action without being taken down by all the horrendous things that are happening. It seems to me like a paradox to be yeah. present and then to work for change in the future. Yeah, you said, how can so, I be a voice for planetary change and really say, I don't mind what happens because there's so much- I don't mind what happens. That's yeah, what so much crazy stuff is going on in the world. How can you just say- Do not mind uh, animal abuse. Right, not mind animal abuse, not mind all the violence going on in the world and just say, this too shall pass. First, of course, um, the English language has to be an agent for true positive change in this world. Your state of consciousness is what transmits itself through whatever you do. Mm -hmm. Your state of consciousness is primary. Mm -hmm. you're, you're concerned about or not, because if you are in a state of consciousness where you are at peace, everything that you do in the world will bring peace to the world. Yes. And that's how you change the world. Yes. And everything you, will do, you do will be much more empowered. It will be empowered by that consciousness. One of the things you shared with us earlier, uh, what he was saying, Yvonne, in one of the early classes, is that you cannot uh, make change by fighting against anything. And a surefire way of knowing that something is going to fail is when you say it's the war against. Yes. The war against anything no. cannot win. No. So if you cannot fight, it does not mean that you cannot take action. You can take powerful action, but it comes out of that ba basic place of inner peace. Uh, people don't realize, many people don't realize yet that very powerful action ca come out of the place of inner peace. Mm -hmm. They believe they need to be agitated to bring about change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming from inner peace, motivate other people to sort of mind what's going on so that they might do things differently in their lives that impact the planet as a whole. That's the thing that kind of worries me, that the concept can give people apathy and like, oh, I'm going to throw my cigarette on the ground and it's going to go into the ocean and I don't mind what happens. That, that's no, that's not it. You see the consequences of any action. If you're present, then you, you will not do unconscious things that will that actually produce suffering. It's only when you're not present that you will produce suffering in one form right. or another. Got that. When you're present, you, can, you, do not, you do not generate suffering for yourself or others. It's right, Yvonne, you've been on the street or oh, some, yeah. and somebody is trying to hand out something. And if it's a person who's really agitated or you can feel or sense their anger and agitation, you don't want to take the pamphlet. But if the person hands it to you or whatever it is with a, you know, with a, with a, calm, with a sense of calm or peace, then you're more inclined to want to even engage with them. Yeah. I've experienced that as myself like 15 years ago in college, being the staunch environmentalist and telling people what to do. And of course, watching them do the opposite, yeah. and inspiring the exact opposite that I wanted. So I've worked the last 10 years since the power of the now to be present. But in order to do that, I had to like stop looking at the atrocities of the world. And now I'm ready to come back and I to keep the spiritual side, but at the same time, not let the world get me down, but be able to yes. do something and be a part of positive change. Yes, that's your challenge now. That's your challenge now and your spiritual practice now 
is to balance the two so that you can be active and bring about change in the world without losing your rootedness in being and your presence. So that's a balancing, a balancing yeah. act. Yes. And that's what you have Thank to do you now. Thank you for sharing. Thank I'll you. To do it. I'm learning slowly what you just said about accepting the acceptance, the deep acceptance of the, the world as it is, that hit me. Yeah. Finally, I'm starting to understand the depth. Yeah. And not the accept of it's okay. No. Right. Just that it, this is happening. That it is happening. Yes. Yes, and that the oh, angrier you and more upset you, uh, you get about it, it's still happening. Oh, yeah. 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 That doesn't serve anything. I get that, but then how do you keep going? But I'm it's slow process. There's two more weeks, two more chapters. <laughs> I'm hoping. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Inner purpose yeah. is going to help that a lot. Yes. Thank you.